bright duty every student matters hello students today once again i am here with chapter number 17 local government political science class 12 let's see the pyramid and what we are going to study in this chapter that is the central government state level and local self government and local self government is divided into two parts that is your rural and urban government what exactly the local governments are as you know india is a vast country our democratic structure has also been a level of governance national state and the grassroots and the governments at the grassroots refers to panchayati raj here which comes under the local government and the municipal corporation that is in the urban areas so to these institutions we give the name local governments so we could say that local governments are subordinate entities to national government that enjoy the legal authority to exercise political power over a fixed territory or we could say local government is an elected body enjoying certain degrees of autonomy and serving as an administrative unit for local a local governments why do we need it what is the requirement but before we do that is government are uh, local governments are at the village and district level government closer to the common people it involves day to day life and problems of ordinary citizens it believes that the local knowledge and local interest are essential ingredients for democratic decision local governments were made for minimizing uh, the working conditions of the country and also necessary for efficient and people friendly administration the institutional expression of the policy democratic decentralization in india with local government because you know central government will not be able to understand what is the problem of a particular area okay i give you an example for example if you don't have street lights in your uh, local area uh, will the prime minister or the chief minister will be able to get this problem solved at their level no the local government first of all where you will say this thing that you don't have street lights uh, in your local area rwa that is a residents welfare association and residents welfare association will create the situation to overcome the problem or what else who could do it the local government that the municipal corporation if you are living in the urban area or if you are living in the local area so you could straight away go to the panchayats so there is a channel in indian uh, government that through that channel only the problems get solved now the division of local government but division of local government union government state government local government that is known to everyone and in your junior classes also you must have read about it. and municipality and panchayat this is at the urban level like if i talk about municipality this is your urban level if i talk about panchayat this is your village level and union state local this is your federal system of the whole country so at municipality municipal corporation if these are big cities municipal council are small places nagar panchayats where there are small these are metropolitan cities councils are cities and nagar panchayat is where it is now district panchayat at district level intermediate panchayat of few villages and village panchayat particularly for one village now the local government local self government implies the transference of the power to rule the lowest rungs of the political orders it is a form of democratic decentralization that means the division of the powers at different levels if i talk about the levels you have seen it is the central government state the level and the local government and if i talk about uh, the powers all these three governments they enjoy their own powers as well as their individual judiciary it is a form of democratic decentralization why it is democratic decentralization because we go for the voting process also like the election process when we get all these and local self government means that the local affairs such as the management of roads arrangements of sanitation burial grounds primary and middle school etc it should be done by the institutions of local self government such as municipalities municipal corporations and gram panchayats just now i have told 
and a local self government in india therefore means that people of a particular locality should be given sufficient autonomy and share in the running of their administration now what is the role of local government why it is important why it is required why do we need a local government like in november 1995 if i say november 1995 uh it was held uh, all india panchayat adhyaksha conference there was a summit right and at new delhi the 7000 delegates they attended uh, the conference and which were shared by the national government and educate powers the delegates were also assured of uh, sufficient finances to enable the pris that is panchayati raj institutions to function as effective units of self government this shows that commitment of that central government to involve the people uh, at the third level of the governance at the significance let's see efficient and effective management of the day to day life and local affairs local matters like sanitation electricity water supply education public works as i told you if uh, street lights are not there if sanitation is not there if the availability of sweeper is not there so x y z all these local problems are to be managed by the local government then people friendly administration that means people must feel very easy to go to the administration to share the problems they should not have the hesitation to approach the village sarpanch or the municipal councillor so that they can at least discuss their problems with them and they could easily give them the solution then the self government obviously active participation of the whole community like mahatma gandhi also said independence must begin at the bottom and it follows therefore that every village has to be self sustained and capable of managing its affairs for example if one village has hundreds of problems so that village should be capable of solving all those problems at their own level because you know problems come with the solution only and the local government it provides to the whole community to govern themselves devolution of power from the higher to lower levels is the best guarantee of the success of the democracy local institutions relieve state administration of some is burden like due to uh, devolution of authority the state government is relieved of some of its burden it can concentrate better on matters like public order police prisons and trading and commerce with us what does it mean it means they have minimized their work when it was given to the central government central government subordinated the work to the uh, central government central government subordinated to the local government that means it is minimizing is it possible for central government to work for the whole country yes it is possible but not on all the aspects that is why state government was introduced but this is not possible for the state government also to take care of each and every minute to minute things of a local area so they have also divided their things among the local government so that that local institutions will relieve state administration to minimize the burden then this system is accountability is extremely economical a local government is fully accountable to the people like central government is also accountable to the people and the local state government is also accountable to the people as well as the local government because it is democratic we people are choosing them and uh, in the other words village panchayats or municipal councillors are completely responsible for what they do they must be prepared to justify their actions because they have to they have the accountability to the people so this system also means a lot to the people and it is extremely economical moreover uh, if i say a local government consists of uh, honorary members and uh, serving without pay or with very little emoluments and uh, thus the system is less expensive as compared to the administration of a locality by state official now the rural self governing bodies gram panchayat panchayat samiti and zila parishad 